We have to accept what's happened to Pat. I can't undo it. I'd give anything to undo it, but we can't. So the best thing that I can do as Pat's dad and Robin as Pat's mum is to honour Pat and let's make a difference. People will remember his name mm. and it's um, because he was a good kid. My name is Aidan Phelan. I'm a presenter with the Pat Cronin Foundation and we are working Australia-wide to educate young people about the dangers of the coward punch and how to deal with social violence. Hey, my name is Stacey and I am one of the presenters for the Pat Cronin Foundation, also a mother of five. And one of my great things is I am a storyteller. I love telling my stories from my own lived experiences. And there's two key takeaways that I give for my presentations and that is you are only one decision away from a totally different life and every small choice can have big consequences. Uh, in terms of the skills that the students will be learning in the presentation, we are teaching them skills that they're going to be able to use for the rest of their life. When they're going out, they're going to parties, where they're going to pubs or anywhere that there's alcohol served, they're going to see this aggressive behaviour potentially and it's really important for them to know what to do in those situations. So these are valuable and vital skills that we're teaching young people that they'll have for the rest of their life. If I, I wished my sons had have had this presentation at their school, I really do because their decisions and their choices are so important because they can end up making a stupid decision or put their decisions and their choices into something positive and achieve their goals. I think what's our motivation for the foundation, um, our first intention of our foundation is to honour Pat. You know, he, he was a good kid, he wasn't a troublemaker. Um, you know, he was the captain of his footy side. He was a smart kid, he had a scholarship at university and he was going places with his life, there was no doubt about that. And he, he should still be here with us. A lot of the schools that we go to, um, especially ones that we've gone to year after year, will talk about how after the presentations they've seen a drop in the level of violence in the cohort that's done the presentation. So that's a very positive thing. They're actually taking the lessons from the presentations and they're employing them in their everyday life so that they can do the things they need to do in order to avoid getting involved in those violent scenarios. I, I, I wished I had have had this presentation when I was younger, you know. I wished my boys had have had it. Being able to have something like this that can come to schools, come to footy clubs, to be able to teach the young people these skills is an absolutely wonderful thing. And to be the person who gets the opportunity to do that is a huge reward for me personally.